little crawl up under here and see where my $3,800 went. Take a look at some shit. Coveralls on so I don't fuck up my Louis Vuittons. <laughs> Louis Vuittons, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Fat guy in a little coat. Fat guy in a little coat. All right, all right, all right. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Smells like fucking piss. Oh shit. Do the back crawl, bitch. Do the fucking back crawl. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at there. Look at there. I'm putting these shit. Putting the ends on my damn U joint. Did I get a new U joint too? No. Huh. Oh, man. Look at all that new shit right there, boy. Yeah, buddy. Look at that fucking new shit. Oh, yeah. New clutch. Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, look at that motherfucking new shit up in there. That new clutch up in there. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good deal. Good deal. New rear main seal. New clutch. New input shaft. Gasket. Nice. What a deal. No leaks. So that's always a plus. Right. Fuck out from under here now. Oh fuck. God damn. Oh. Motherfucker. Hey, what the fuck you doing under my truck? <sighs> yeah, I'm a big dude. I'm big motherfucker. But I ain't lazy. Damn it. There's a difference in being big and being just a sloppy fat fuck and then being big and work. I'll at least work. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all about these Petros and TAs. Hold on a minute. Let me get up out of these coveralls. Well, I guess that's a good deal. $3,800, took them, uh, they started work on it, let's see, what the fuck is today, Thursday? They started work on it first thing Wednesday morning, and they were finished up today about dinner time, so I guess that's about, I guess that's about right. I can deal with that. Two days, day and a half, whatever you want to call it. Let me tell y'all about these TAs and Petros, man. Monday. I had seen the transmission leaking for, I don't know, probably about a week. Anyway, <clears throat> get unloaded Monday. 
up there by Enid, Oklahoma. And the people I work for, uh, said, okay, you know, if you want to get your transmission checked out, <clears throat> I told them, I said, I think it's just like a gasket, you know, rear main seal or some input shaft gasket or whatever. <clears throat> so the dude goes, well, the loves or TA or Petro can, uh, can do that, I think. I said, Candy, I didn't know they do work like that. Now, hell, I've been out here this September, it'll be 22 years, man, running the road. I, I didn't know, I didn't know they do shit like that. Maybe I don't know if I'd want them to do shit like that. <clears throat> but anyway, to make a long story short, so I go down to the Petro in Oklahoma City. Guy asked me, you know, hey, what can I do for you? I said, well, got a transmission leaking, and uh, company sent me here to see if y'all check it out for me. He said, oh, okay, yeah, absolutely, we can do that. And then I said, I'm hoping it's something as simple as you know, a gasket or seal need replaced. He says, oh, well, well, if it's a seal or a gasket, he said, we can't, we can't do nothing to it. We can't do nothing with it. Oh, but then he goes now, but we can put another transmission in for you. I said, what, what's, what'd you say, man? He said, well, we, we could put another transmission in for you. I said, wait a minute. You can't replace a gasket if, if that's the cause of the, the deal there, uh, you know, a, a simple gasket. Well, not simple. It's, you know, you got to drop the transmission and all that shit. But. So I'm like, you can't replace a seal or a gasket, but you can put a whole damn transmission in for me. Yeah. I said, dude, do you hear what you're saying? Are you listening to, to what you're saying? And he's like, well, what do you mean? I said, you can't replace a seal or a gasket on my transmission that's leaking, but you can put a whole new transmission in for me. Yes, sir. And I'm thinking, what the fuck? What, dude? That don't even make no sense what you're saying to me right now. So then he goes, well, you want to go ahead and check in? I said, well, what are y'all going to do? He said, well, we, you know, take a look at it and tell you if it's leaking and where it's leaking from. I'm thinking, man, this motherfucker must be on some drugs. I said, dude, I already know it's leaking. I've crawled under there numerous times in the past week. I can tell you that it's leaking, you know. Oh, you want to get checked in? I said, no, I ain't paying y'all nothing to crawl under my truck and tell me what I already know, dude. But, uh, the fuck is it with these, you know what, man, fuck a TA in a Petro shop, quite honestly. Fuck them. Because that's just, how do you even, how do you even justify that? We can replace your whole entire transmission, but we cannot fix a gasket or a seal. We can't replace that. We can't do nothing to it. I don't know. I'm probably, truth be known, it's, it's probably better off because who the hell would, you know, who in the hell would even want to get a, a, a transmission work done, period. Now that I think about it further, who in the hell would want any transmission work done, period, from a TA or a Petro? Maybe even a Loves, man. I mean, quite honestly. I've had a dude at the Loves and um, over by Shreveport. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's exit 3 or exit 5 where that Loves is there on 20. When I had my coolant reservoir leaking out of the back, literally the back wall of it, was coolant was seeping through it, you know, in just a little spot. And he's trying to tell me that you got to drill out the rivets on the side of the coolant reservoir. I think it's literally just like a little heat shield, you know. He says, ah, oh, they're pretty easy to replace. You just undo the bolts and, you know, you got to drain your coolant out of the reservoir. And 
then you undo your bolts and then you got to drill these rivets out you ain't got to drill them motherfucking rivets out that's the heat shield i think it's a heat shield that's made on it's made into the the coolant reservoir you don't have to drill out fucking nothing you take the old you yeah you're right you take the bolts out of the top of the coolant reservoir and drain your coolant of course undo your hoses and just that's it that that little metal flange that's like i said like a heat shield that goes in the fucking trash you don't take it off mm. maybe i should try to go get my asc certification <laughs> it's, just, it's like wow man i don't know some of these some of these shops out here at these truck stops Oh boy, some of these guys, man, their their work leaves a lot to be desired for. So anyway, I don't know if that was just that Petro in Oklahoma City, or if that's the entire Petro TA. Their um. Their guidelines or their rules or whatever the hell else it is. They'll replace your transmission, the whole transmission. But they won't, uh, they, they won't, uh, they won't replace a bad gasket on there. <laughs> wow. Beats all I ever seen. I love Zoe's doing good. Man, she's had, she's had several good nights and days in a row here. Thank you, Lord. She's, uh, she's doing, she's, I mean, she's sick, you know. I always like to throw in in the end of my little video about about our little little girl. She's sick. She's she's sick, but she's uh her mama says she's she's uh she's she's having good days. So that's a plus. Yes it is. I love my little bug, my little wifey and my little bug. Yep. Well, we got the flying fish hook, the flying pilot here in Okie City. I'm gonna fit to go in here and wash some clothes. And got a load in the morning and do a little short, short hop load and go down to uh, Irvin, Texas for tomorrow. Y'all be careful. Hope everybody's being safe. And uh, we will catch you on the flip side later on.